Here's a parallelogram. Divide these two opposite sides into three equal parts and these two into four equal parts. Join the points like this. We get six of these smaller parallelograms. If the area of the large parallelogram is one square unit, what will be the area of each small parallelogram? By the way, all these are identical and have equal areas. But we also have these small triangles and trapezium all with different areas. And we don't know the dimensions of any of these small shapes. So directly finding their areas isn't easy. Is there another way in which we could attack this problem? Let's see. Cut this parallelogram into three pieces like this. Now rearrange them. The triangles and the trapeziums all combine to form parallelograms, which are exactly identical to the earlier ones. The area of each of these will be the total area of this shape divided by the number of small parallelogram. Since this complete shape is simply a rearrangement of the original one, its area will also be one square unit. And how many small parallelograms do we have? 13 of them. So the area of each one of these is equal to 1 by 13 square units. Now here's a challenge. If we increase the divisions of these two sides from 4 to 5, what will be the area of each small parallelogram now? <laughs>